going to look at this year's Oklahoma Proven plants. Oklahoma Proven is a plant selection and promotion program that is geared toward helping homeowners identify plants that will do well in Oklahoma's rather harsh growing conditions. Each year, nurserymen, growers, horticulturalists from across the state select four plants that they deem to be Oklahoma Proven, plants that have shown the ability to grow well despite uh, some of our harshest conditions. And those four plants typically include a tree, a shrub or a vine, and a perennial as well as an annual. So let's start by looking at this year's tree selection. This is the Bosnian pine, Pinus heldrichii. It's a slow growing evergreen and when it's young it has this really nice pyridimal form. The tree is native to the Pyrin Mountains of Bulgaria and in its native habitat it can reach heights up to 70 feet. But in the landscape and in Oklahoma's climate, it's more likely to reach a size about 25 to 30 feet. The plant, in addition to the nice compact form, it has uh, very attractive cones. When they first emerge, they have a purplish color and then they to a more dark brown as they mature. And the seeds inside are also edible. Once this plant is established, it's rather tolerant of high pH soils, which we tend to find a lot in Oklahoma, and it's also drought tolerant. The plant shows good disease resistance as well. Bosnian pine is a good choice uh, where you're looking for some evergreen color in the landscape, but you have uh, limited space for it. This is the hellebore, uh, sometimes also called the Lenten rose, and this is our perennial plant for the year. This plant belongs to the genus Helleborus, which includes several different species, most of which have evergreen leaves. And that's one of the charms of this plant. These tough, thick, uh, broad leaves remain on the plant throughout the winter when a lot of our other perennials have gone dormant. And another interesting feature is that the flowers are actually produced in the winter time. And uh, the flowers kind of nod over and they're fairly large in size and they range in color from yellows and greens uh, and they have a lot of purples in them. Some of the newer cultivars and hybrids are actually speckled with several different colors and they've been selected to have more upright flowers. Now once this plant is established it requires very little extra care to maintain it except for you know, occasional removal of some of the older leaves as they die out. The plant does require a shady location so it makes a wonderful addition to your woodland garden. This is sort of an unusual plant. This is our annual. It is called Spilanthes. The scientific name is Acmela oleracea. And this cultivar is Peekaboo. And probably the most you know, unique feature are these flowers. And um, you know, they look quite a bit like an eyeball, and that's another common name for the plant. Um, they have the red center uh, with a yellow edge to them, um, and they form this nice round ball. The plant also has a purplish tinge to the foliage, especially on the younger leaves. And then in the fall, the plant will turn more purple. The leaves are actually edible. You could use them in salads or cook them like a green. And um, another common name for this plant is the toothache plant because it can also be used uh, to numb pain. Now this plant does really well in a container. You can also group it on the ground to make a ground cover. And I just think it's a lot of fun to grow and the kids really enjoy it because of these unusual flowers. This is the American Beauty Berry or Calicarpa Americana. This is a native shrub and it's deciduous. It reaches a size of about five feet and can get to about five or 10 feet wide. But one of the nice things about it is if it, it gets too overgrown, you could cut it back down to the ground in winter uh, without sacrificing any of its uh, wonderful characteristics which include these magnificent uh, purple berries. Now in the summer it'll get some small flowers, little, they're sort of inconspicuous, but then they'll mature into these really dramatic uh, clusters of purple fruits. There's also a white cultivar available if you prefer the white fruits. This plant does really well planted as sort of a natural hedge. Um, or you could use it in a mixed border. I like it when it's used more as an understory planting at a wooded edge. Well, these are Oklahoma proven plants for 2008. 
Be sure to visit the website on your screen to learn more about these plants as well as those from previous years. This is a great resource to use when you're selecting plants to do well in your own landscape. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.